Thomas Leslie Jack, Axford, VC, and was an Australian recipient of the Victoria Cross, the highest award for gallantry in the face of the enemy awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. Early life Thomas Axford was born on 18 June 1894 at Carriaton in South Australia. His father was an auctioneer, originally from Tasmania. When Axford was two years old, the family moved to Western Australia, settling in Coolgarda. Educated at Coolgarda Primary School, he worked at the Boulder City Brewery after completing his schooling. In 1912, he enlisted in the 84th Infantry of the Citizen Military Forces. First World War in July 1915, at the age of 21, Axford joined the Australian Imperial Force for service in the First World War. He was assigned to the 11th Reinforcements of the 16th Battalion on 9 August 1915, which left Australia on HMAT Benalla that November. He arrived in the Middle East to join his unit in March 1916, missing the just-completed Gallipoli campaign. In June 1916, Axford's battalion went to France to fight on the Western Front. During the Battle of Moquet Farm on of August 1916, Axford was evacuated with shellshock. He returned to the battalion after two days. During most of 1917, the battalion was engaged in fighting in Belgium, attacking the Hindenburg Line. During the Third Battle of Ypres, in fighting at Gappard Farm, Axford was badly wounded in the knee by shrapnel. After medical treatment in England he rejoined the battalion in January 1918. The following month, he was promoted to Lance Corporal. During the German Spring Offensive, from March to April 1918, 16th Battalion was heavily engaged in fighting around Ebutern. In May he was awarded the Military Medal. It was during the Battle of Hamel, on 4 July 1918, that the events that led to Axe Ford being awarded the Victoria Cross took place. His platoon was attacking towards Vare Wood when a neighbouring platoon came under heavy fire. Axe Ford took prompt action to remedy the situation. The citation for his VC read, on 4 July 1918 during the attack at Vare and Hamel Woods, France, when the advance of the adjoining platoon was being delayed in uncut wire and machine gun fire, and his company commander had become a casualty, Lance Corporal Axe Ford charged and threw bombs amongst the enemy gun crews. He then jumped into the trench, and charging with his bayonet, killed ten of the enemy and took six prisoners. He threw the machine guns over the parapet and the delayed platoon was able to advance. He then rejoined his own platoon and fought with it during the remainder of the operations. In addition to being awarded the VC, Axe Ford was promoted to corporal several days after the battle. Shortly before the end of the war, Axe Ford returned to Australia on furlough. He was discharged from the AIF on 2 February 1919. Later life Axe Ford returned to his old job at the Boulder Brewery, then went to learn a trade at Kalgoorlie Foundry, but was not eligible under the Australian Soldiers' Repatriation Act. He undertook various labouring jobs in the eastern goldfields. Later on he worked for a sewing machine company, and did casual work wherever he could get it until the early 1930s, when he worked initially as a commissionaire, then as a records clerk with the Western Australian Department of Mines in Perth. He had married Lily Maud Foster, a shop assistant, at St Mary's Cathedral, Perth, on 27 November 1926. They lived in the Perth suburb of Mount Hawthorne and were to have five children. In June 1941, during the Second World War, he left his position at the Department of Mines to serve in the Army's Western Australian Echelon and Records Office, in Perth, part of Headquarters Western Command. He was discharged with the rank of sergeant in April 1947, and returned to his position as a records clerk at the Department of Mines. He died on of October 1983 while aboard a flight returning to Australia following the Victoria Cross and George Cross Association reunion. Survived by his five children, he was cremated at the Karakata Crematorium in Perth. His wife predeceased him earlier in 1983. Legacy Axford's war medals, including his Victoria Cross, were donated to the Australian War Memorial in Canberra, where they are on display. Axford Park in Mount Hawthorne, and the Thomas Axford Ward at the former Repatriation General Hospital, Hollywood, are named in his honour. On Anzac Day 2018, Axford and fellow VC recipient John Carroll, were honoured with a paver on the Walk of Fame in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia.